Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be studying today is SCP-27, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. The host of SCP-27, currently subject 27-2, is to be kept in a 5 by 5 meter containment cell with a graded raised floor connected to a strong vacuum system. All creatures removed from the subject's containment cell are to be incinerated, except for a small portion to be diverted for analysis and necropsy. The cell is to be cleansed and inspected for structural damage daily. Subject 27-2 must be monitored by at least two personnel at all times. Any unusual behavior or vital signs on the part of the subject or the appearance of any unusual species in the subject's vicinity must immediately be reported to level 4 personnel. Security personnel assigned to SCP-27 must be inoculated against all known animal-borne pathogens and must be armed with tranquilizer guns, with standing orders to subdue the subject if the need arises. Until SCP-27 is better understood, no personnel of level 4 clearance or higher should approach within 200 meters of the subject. Description SCP-27 appears to be a phenomenon of unknown source that seems to be tied to one human subject, currently 27-2, at a time. As host to SCP-27, subject 27-2 is constantly surrounded by swarming vermin that are drawn to his location. The subject does not appear to be able to assert control over these creatures in any way and is in fact prone to occasional attacks from feral specimens. These creatures have also been known to attack personnel who approach too closely. Wherever the subject goes, an initial swarm of flying insects, such as gnats and flies, will start to form a cloud around him, usually within two to three minutes. Shortly thereafter, crawling animals including lice, cockroaches, worms, spiders, mice and rats will begin to appear. The longer the subject remains in a location, the more vermin will gather there. When the subject leaves a location, some of the creatures will follow, but most will disperse. SCP-27 has been known to transfer between hosts once, upon the death of the first known host. Subject 27-1, see Appendix 1 for more information. Since SCP-27 could likely repeat this feat upon the death of Subject 27-2, all high-level personnel should be kept far away from the current host until more about SCP-27 is understood. SCP-27 has also likely transferred between hosts an unknown number of times before containment. Research into potential previous hosts has commenced, with preliminary evidence suggesting that SCP-27 may have existed for at least years. It is not yet known how SCP-27 chooses or attracts animals, or what SCP-27 exactly is. The previous host never expressed having any sort of communication with a separate conscious entity. Analysis of the current host has been inconclusive at best. Appendix 1 Timeline of Significant Events April 1990 Subject 27-1 is discovered in an abandoned warehouse outside that have been completely overrun by rats, cockroaches, and other vermin, and is contained and cataloged as SCP-27. The subject is described as a Caucasian male in his late 30s, of average height but gaunt, filthy, and covered in bites and scratches. The subject also shows symptoms of degraded mental health, evidence of heavy use of alcohol and illicit drugs and signs of prolonged sleep deprivation. October 2000 Subject expires. Autopsy shows more than 70% of the subject's body a colony of rats nesting in the subject's abdomen for at least generations. October 2000 Between 140 and 150 hours after the subject's death, Security Officer K reports being awoken by breathing problems due to a large housefly having crawled up his nose. 
later shown to have lain eggs. Subsequent observations lead to categorization of Officer F as Subject 27-2. The original host is reclassified as Subject 27-1, and SCP-27 is redefined. Appendix 2 Recording of Interview 27-201 The following interview was conducted on October 2000 Shortly after Subject 27-2 was identified and transferred to the containment cell that had housed Subject 27-1 Playing now Good morning, officer How are you feeling? Scared? Confused? Mostly scared though Understandable. Energy. I feel like I need to shower all the damn time. Ah, uh, but what about, um, inside? Do you feel anything different inside you, like a presence? No, I don't think I do. I haven't really noticed anything like that. You haven't felt anything different since the original host died, besides the itching? No. Can't say I have. What about any sort of voices or compulsion? No, I haven't felt anything except bugs crawling all over me. I feel dirty, scared. Doc, what about my family? You gotta get this thing out of me so I can go see them again. Of course. If we're going to do everything we can to get 27 out of you. God, I'm sorry. Can Note, shortly after this interview took place, Dr. Jameson and several other members of the research team for SCP-27 were transferred to the SCP-1772 project. Okay. And I'm gonna stop here. Thank you all for listening, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. Gotten used to them. Defeat. You never think about how many feet they have. Or they grip at your skin, the hair on your body. You now they hold on to you effortlessly. They almost tickle now. Almost. The smell, it's, it's barely noticeable anymore, but at first it was, it was pretty bad. I threw up a lot. And then they started crawling into my mouth when I was trying to eat. But then I realized they didn't mind when I ate them. I think that was when I started to come to terms with it. They didn't taste good at first, but then the crunch. Insects have a texture all their own. Thick, sweet, and full of I don't know what. It was like the best thing I had ever eaten. And they didn't even mind. There, were, there was just so much I could reach out and take. I think they like to sing me to sleep. Hard to ignore it when they get in my ears. Well, everywhere else, too. All kinds of things chirping and buzzing around all the time. Constant noise. I mean, it's a lot louder in the summer. A lot louder. <sighs> I don't think I mind, though. They just like to sing. It's almost like music. I can see them watching me. Not the crawling things, no. The people. I know how you see me. Even in places where the strange people, the people who the world forget, even they look away. I can see it in their eyes. They pity me. Or their discipline broke down. Revolted. You too. 
I see you trying to look me in the eye. Not the bits of my hair or my teeth. I've seen that look before. You don't want to. Can't help but stare. I, I know you can. They never can. It's okay. No, no. You can sit back. Yeah, it's alright. Your eyes are watering. It's better if you move away a bit. Take a drink of water or something. It'll help your stomach. I gave up trying to wash them off. Not in a shower or a bathtub. Those aren't big enough. Not enough water to wash them away. Not that I didn't try, it's just... A lost cause at that scale. I mean, I still have scars from scrubbing so hard. I started to go swimming to drown them. Like the story of the Pied Piper, you know? He took the rats away and drowned them in the river. I always loved swimming. Even before it gave me that little breath of cleanness. Then the leeches found me. Leeches aren't ants are the worst. They're so small, they get all over in my hair, and nose and ears, in my eyes. Thousands of them. <laughs> it's just I can't even I can't even describe it. Just imagine every inch of your body covered. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never even mentioned the rats. Always so many. But I guess they're not. At least they're warm. There's so many that they keep me warm in the cold. Like a like a fuzzy blanket. Fuzzy hungry blanket. People keep rats as pets, right? It's no different. Everyone loves pets. I love my pets. I love them all. I'll never be alone. I would like to give a special thank you to Andre Bichert, Desmond Haskins, and Getzeberry. Thank you all very much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, go to patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.